Worst freak accidents number six. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, true crimers. This is the story of Atik Rafiq. Now, this story has been making the rounds, I've noticed, on TikTok with that little, like, few-second animation. I thought I would go into more detail. Atik was a 24-year-old father of a 2-year-old girl. On the evening of March 9th, 2018, um, Atik went to see a film at the View Cinemas. And this was in uh, Star City, Birmingham, which is in the UK. Now, this particular theater, like a lot of theaters nowadays, have the electronic chairs with the footrests you can raise, that kind of thing. Some of them even have, like, call buttons to bring waiters and stuff to you. I know we have a few of those here um, in the United States. So at some point during the movie, Atik noticed that his keys and his cell phone had fallen somewhere in the chair. I think we've all been there before. So what happened was, is he knelt down to look under the seat with the footrest raised. For some reason, the footrest began to lower on its own. No one pressed any buttons to make that happen. His wife immediately noticed, and she's trying to lift up the actual seat. It lowered so quickly that he didn't even have time to really realize what was actually going on. But yeah, his wife was there desperately trying to lift it up. He was trying to struggle out of it, but he couldn't. It had completely closed on his neck. There was three quarters of a ton worth of pressure going onto his neck. So at that point, everyone's freaking out. He is literally stuck and being crushed by this seat. They're in there pressing button, but nothing was working. It was completely malfunctioning. It would later turn out that there was a wiring issue with this seat. So no matter what they did, they were not going to be able to get that seat to rise. An ambulance was called, obviously, and he was stuck under there for 15 minutes with all of that pressure crushing him. This is more like what the seat actually looked like. So after that 15 minutes, the cinema people were able to unscrew the bolts finally to get the footrest off of him. But unfortunately, Atik would suffer a heart attack due to all of the lack of oxygen he was getting. Atik would remain alive for roughly a week before he would die in the hospital. His cause of death ultimately was a hypoxic brain injury. They would later find out in investigation that parts of the mechanisms that were put on there to make this chair work properly, well, they were fitted incorrectly. And none of the seats in this theater were ever actually tested before they went into use. So this particular cinema chain, View, was fined 750,000 pounds, which is a little over a million dollars US. And View Cinemas took complete blame for the incident. I can't seem to find um, if whether or not his family uh, sued the theater company, so I'm not sure on that.